We are so honored to be able to bless couples in need through our scholarship program. We do this by offering fertility treatments to those who need medical assistance in order to conceive. And we also offer professional grief therapy to those who are walking a difficult time or who have lost a child. We were told pretty quickly that uh, there was only one heartbeat, um, but we were ecstatic about that because of everything that we had walked through. Um, and so we were so excited about our one little heartbeat and pretty quickly our genetic counselor told us that our baby wasn't going to make it and um, I'm sorry. Little did we know walking into uh, Blessed Brokenness and the Blessed Room small group that um, we still had a long road ahead of us. We knew that, he, that we wanted to be parents and after that um, it was rough. And he just said, God is still good, and he is. And um, we just chose not to believe, actually. <laughs> um, so we asked them to repeat the test. So they repeated the test. Um, it showed the same thing, our baby had Turner syndrome. We finally got to the point to where um, we prayed and we were just like, Lord, if we're not supposed to be parents, take that desire out of our heart. Did the test again. I asked my doctor to repeat the test. I'm so sorry. And um, it came back the third time, healthy male, healthy male. And um, so we did lose our baby girl and she was the one that had all the abnormalities. And um, although that was hard, um, God just blew it out of the waters with this sweet little baby that was growing inside of me. Blessed Brokenness has been a staple in our journey because they were there for her every time she needed them. So we got married in 2015 you know, had a couple years and then started trying to have kids and wasn't happening. After about a year, we started the fertility journey. We went through IVF, affordable IVF, um, and we got pregnant with twin boys. August 4th, um, 2020, we had our boys those first couple of months, I think the reality just continued to set in that our journey was very different and this, you know, something was wrong. On February 8th, 2021, got their diagnosis, congenital disorders of glycosylation or CDG for short. On August um, 10th, 2021, Tucker went home to be with Jesus. And 30 hours later, Bennett went, went to heaven as well. Um, a week after their first birthday. All we have in this process is God and each other. God has shown us that it is okay to be vulnerable. It is okay. He knows I'm feeling that anyways. And it's okay for me to say that. And it's okay for us to have those moments. We are now going through grief counseling and Bless Brokenness has given us a scholarship to be able to do that and not have to worry about that financially. But we are just so blessed and thankful for this ministry and what it has meant to us. We started to try to have a family, but we noticed something was not right. So that's when doctor visits started to come up. Um, after that, I came across Blessed Brokenness. Um, they were a lot of help to me. Um, I went into a group of women that were going through the same struggles as I was. I took a pregnancy home test and that came out positive. The appointment came up and yes, I, they did an ultrasound. They told me that, yeah, we were pregnant on our own without medication, no IVFs, no cycles, nothing, all on our own. From someone telling you that you can't get pregnant on your own, and then you are, so that was emotional. At that same moment, they tell you, your baby does not have a heartbeat. Then our culture, uh, infertility is something that's never really talked about mostly because we're ashamed or embarrassed. Being involved with Blessed Brokenness and their scholarship has really helped us a lot, mainly because through our journey throughout the years, we were 
paying out of pocket. Again, my mind was closed. I did not know that there were scholarships out there, that there was help. So we came home from being overseas in 2013 and waited less than a year before we started trying to grow our family. And we had a lot of discussion about if we wanted that to be adoption first or try to have a child biologically first. And in the end, we decided to start trying to have a child biologically and didn't wait very long before we saw my doctor um, when it didn't happen immediately. And so um, we just went through a series of initial tests and eventually a surgery that diagnosed me with stage four endometriosis. And it was just sort of a sequential chain of events after that. We were elated in the December of 2018, right before Christmas, when we found out we were pregnant for the very first time. Um, Invocil had worked and we were thrilled to be pregnant, but it was shortly later at our first ultrasound appointment that there was no heartbeat and we learned that we had a blighted ovum. There was a time where we really had to consider uh, whether we just, maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't for us that God would, would bless our family through children. Uh, we had even been pursuing adoption and every avenue we pursued was shut down. It was just sort of a dark time in my own life personally and then someone told me about a blessed womb and we got plugged in there. An adoption attorney called us and said that um, there was a little boy going to be born and were we interested and we said absolutely yes and so um, it was only a couple of days later that I got a phone call from Ann about the Blessed Brokenness Fertility Scholarship that I had applied for. It was just amazing and ironic timing that we felt like the Lord was just opening the door to grow our family and we didn't know if either of those options would bring us a child, but we still had a strong desire to adopt. We had a strong desire to grow our family biologically and we were just so thankful that it looked like the doors were opening for both. So we went through one more fertility treatment uh, in December of 2020 and when we went in for our first appointment, um, they had told us that we were pregnant and we could not believe it. Not only did we have a baby at home that was like a month, two months old, um, we now were pregnant with t twins. I did not realize how much Jess needed a community of women to go through what she was going through. Uh, and she didn't know. She did not know until she started showing up at the Bible study, talking, having conversations, praying together, and even relationships that, that happened outside of that. Um, she didn't know how much she needed that. I didn't know how much she needed that until we were in the midst of it. And, and just, there was fruit there. There was healing there that was moving her from a place that she didn't know where she was at and a place to, she was glad to be. Bless Brokenness needs your help. We want to be able to better serve our community by offering fertility scholarships and grief therapy. Support us by going to blessbrokenness.org and donate today.